Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Sorry about the lighting situation. <laughs> I'm kind of just sitting in front of the door with the door open here. Um, want to talk to you guys um, about the medicine I make, RSO. Now, a lot of people joke with me and say, Got to got to have that CBD. It works. Um, no. What I make has CBD in it, but it has high THC as well, and it has what they call the entourage effect, and that's what you want when you're making the medicine. What do I mean by entourage? It has CBD, it has THC, it has terpenes and terpines and all kinds of other uh, stuff that has not been taken out and stripped out by these companies to make their product legal. Now my product is completely legal. I don't sell it, obviously, because that'd be illegal. But you grow it yourself, you make your own medicine, and that's what you do. Um, all these people who are pushing and uh, telling you to get on CBD oil, okay, um, but CBD oil will not uh, help against diseases like the big C, okay? Um, so anybody telling you that CBD alone is going to work and help uh, cure you from whatever is going on they don't know what they're talking about okay so just I want to make that clear um, CBD is great and all if you have pain and it's and if that's all you can get in your area that's legal then that's good take it but if you have a serious condition or illness get on RSO research RSO grow and make it yourself I have a complete playlist on my YouTube channel that you can go to right now subscribe go to my playlist and go to RSO it's there all the videos complete walkthrough how to guide how to make process and how to take it now I'm going to do include in this video right now dosage again. So for my medicine that I make, I recommend you take it an hour before you go to bed. Why? Well, most people have day jobs or a job to go to the next day. Um, you don't want to be taking it at work, during work or just before work. No. You take it before you go to bed because your body heals itself while you're sleeping. And with the combination of my medicine, it will definitely supercharge the healing factor and get rid of a lot of nasty stuff. Okay? Including the big C. If you take the proper amount for the proper amount of time. What is the proper amount? If you do not have anything wrong with you that you know of, then take a little bit. Micro dose, low dose, um, before you go to bed. And it acts as a preventative. Now, what I did for myself was I took it for about a week straight every night an hour before bed I noticed a huge difference after a week now I didn't have anything wrong with me that I know of right but built in every human being are cabinoid receptors what are those well surprisingly built into human beings is when we consume RSO, they activate the cabinoid receptors 
and your body goes into a super hyperdrive healing of most and all illness and disease, okay? This is not a joke. I told you recently, guys, that we had a... I actually met up with a farmer with a head headache issue, okay? He was extremely skeptical. I gave him a small amount for free of the RSO, okay? Now, he had a headache since February and was getting about two hours of sleep a night, which is horrendous for a long period of time. Probably would put you in the grave, if I'm assuming if it, that went on for much longer. So, what I had to talk to him for a little bit, to kind of talk him into trying it, and I, I didn't push it. I didn't push it whatsoever. I said, okay. He told me, well, I don't want to screw up any of my medical tests by taking it and whatever. So he had all his tests. And then apparently one night, while well, he's still waiting for his MRI results back, because the COVID nonsense has screwed up everything, um, he hasn't gotten those back, but all his other tests were okay. So I think he got fed up with our medical system. And he remembered that I told him, just take the medicine. Try it. Take a small amount before bed. Guess what, guys? I went and saw him. Complete 360 reversal now. The guy was practically giving me hugs, thanking me, and much more. But this is what he told me. He took a small amount under the tongue before bed. He's, he got a full eight hours of sleep, no headache, no pain, no nothing. He woke up, felt like a million bucks, and he told me he hasn't slept that good for 25 years. He was extremely happy. Now, I'm not up here spewing bullshit, guys. This is reality. This is what I'm, I'm helping people but they don't seem to want to trust what I'm saying right off the rip. And unfortunately, my aunt did not do, she didn't trust me all the way either and ended up dying from her illness because she did not take the medicine. I'm gonna make this as clear as mud pie, guys. <laughs> take it. If you, don't th if you think you have something wrong with you, take it every night, okay? If you have something you know that's seriously diagnosed with you, then you're going to be taking three grams a day is the dosage uh, requirement, but you're, want, you're going to want to start out and work your way up to that. Um, I would, to be honest, if you have something serious with you right now, I would take my medicine, RSO, a full gram of it, every night until for a week until your body gets used to a gram and then I would increase to two grams for the following the rest of the week and then from there on out I would uh, the week after that so that we're talking th third weekend you're on three three grams every night before you go to bed that way your body has a chance to slowly build up a tolerance to the medicine. What do I mean by a tolerance to the medicine? You will not get as high as you would have if you just took one gram right now. And I have experimented taking one gram of RSO um, because I don't, I've never smoked weed in my life and never plan to. You eat it. Why do you eat it? Because Smoking it gives you 4% of the medical value. Eating it gives you 40%. What do you think you want to do? Now, if you're in a real situation with colon cancer or something, you can do suppository, and that gives you an 80% absorption rate of the medicine.
but most people are going to do the 40, guys. Unless you're seriously, seriously in harm's way, okay? And if you do do the suppository thing, you fill RSO in an empty pill capsule, clear vegetable pill capsules. You can get them online. And then on the outside of the pill capsule, organic coconut oil all over the all over the outside of the capsule and then you do your suppository with that I'm not going to get into how to do that you can go look that up or consult a nurse practitioner or somebody who knows how to do suppositories okay but anyways getting back to the dosages if you are seriously ill with the big C I want you to take as much RSO as you physically can now, if you have the big C and don't have to work because you're off for, for the big C, the illness, then take as much as possible and go to town. You want to take, basically guys, you need, okay, you, basically you need a pound of plant material, Mary Jane, okay, high THC Mary Jane, indica strain, as much as possible. Sativa gives you energy. Indica gives you the relaxing healing. And that's what we want for the medical. Okay? That is what you want to look for. You need about a pound of it to make your own, of material, okay? To make the full Big C Eliminator dosage. You make, you take that pound of material, you go into my playlist under RSO, you watch and study my videos, share it, favorite it, bookmark it, tweet it, whatever you like to do. I show you exactly step by step through the entire process of what to do. Okay? And when my next crop comes off in two to three weeks coming up here, it is the uh, September 21st. So in two to three weeks, my crop will be ready. I will shoot a new video on that with improved methods yet again that I've come up with to get stronger and stronger, more potent medicine, okay? And make it easier, okay? So stay tuned for that. But this video is basically a rundown of what you should do if you have a sickness so spread this video bookmark this video share this video I will be placing it in the RSO playlist along with all my other medicine videos in there that way you guys can refer to it anytime you want for instruction so getting back to dosage guys if you are extremely ill like i said with whatever the big c especially start with a gram of rso every single night now if you have to still work while you have your diagnosis then you're gonna have to go even slower pace at this okay So, and there's some other variables I'm going to get into next, but if you're still working, you would want to do a quarter of a gram an hour before you go to bed every night and build it up to a gram the next week and the week after that, gram and a half and slowly build up until you consume the entire batch of RSO medicine you made from one pound of material okay now if you're diagnosed with the big C and are getting modern medical practices like chemotherapy you will need more RSO more like two pounds minimum because <sighs> chemotherapy is horrendously damaging to the body. Okay? Now, my dad 
which did take he took chemotherapy because the doctor I, I explained this before but basically I got him on RSO as soon as he was diagnosed with cancer he had to wait three months before any treatment from them began because they were waiting for a CT scan picture or a PET scan it's either or it doesn't matter but in that three month period I alone was treating him with RSO so he eventually went in for his next photo PET scan uh, or CT scan whatever the doctor calls up when she got the results and says, what are you doing? Your big C is shrinking. So we were straight up with the doctor. We told her exactly what we were doing. The doctor says, well, I've never heard of that. It's working. Um, just keep doing it. But we're going to put you on chemo anyway because basically they don't, are, they're not trained to handle a situation where um, someone is actually effectively curing themselves with what they're doing okay so they just went back to oh okay what did what did what was I taught oh we got, okay we'll put them on chemo okay so he went on chemo he stayed on RSO all the way through now I was he was not because it was just legalized when all this was going on, I did not have a pound of RSO material to um, to have my dad take to run through the through his system through his chemo setup. However, he went through his entire chemo setup uh, for months on RSO, low dose RSO at that, and. He had no side effects and the nurses thought he was lying because when they put you on chemo guys they give you like a manual Bible of how many side effects you may have on this crap for chemo he had none I I strongly believe that was all the RSO that I, the medicine that I'm talking about preventing and getting all that gunk out of him okay now I also had him on a high-end vitamin supplement along with the RSO as a uh, additional benefit and that that helped as well okay but I believe the RSO in combination with a good quali high quality multi supplement vitamin powder worked excellent for my dad okay now fast forward my dad has no cancer now no chemo no blood work needed and the, our doctor is completely satisfied now she still does checkups um, uh, but these are kind of over the phone now because there's because of the COVID and because there's no real reason to see him in this type of COVID situation however we have not he has not stopped taking RSO the medicine because it's a very important to continue on it even at just a low dose as a preventative to make sure nothing creeps back in after the fact makes a lot of sense to me guys and it's quite affordable to micro dose it um, all the way along my dad literally puts it in his coffee every morning and it because it's an oil there's an oil sh uh, sheen on the top of the coffee and he's just used to it by now and he li he likes it he likes the taste of it you build up a, a taste uh, palette for this stuff in the beginning it tastes awful eventually your body will adjust I always say to people you eat it you're not smoking it so what foods do you like I told people get a little chocolate bar and eat it with eat the oil with that because it's something I know sugar and, and all that who cares it's just something to help get it down 
or you can put it in a vegetable empty vegetable capsules that you can buy online that I mentioned way earlier you can do that too if you if you're able to swallow pills I myself have a hard time swallowing pills so I open the pill up in my mouth with a ton of water and just choke down the medicine it tastes completely awful but I've been doing it for years and it's okay works for me whatever you guys want to do you do um, I particularly eat some with a little chocolate bar or a candy or a cookie or something that kind of overwhelms the taste of the medicine and then you're happy happy okay now I hope this helped everybody out there if you have any questions other questions concerning this let me know in the comments below now I have people contacting me saying can you sell it to me no I cannot sell it to you because I do not want to go to jail okay so just to let you guys know that ahead of time I will tell you um, find out if it's legal for you to buy it in your state or country or if it is legal to grow it yourself in your state or country if not go to a state or country where it is legal and go take care of yourself there Colorado for example actually makes pre-made oil RSO oil at their dispensaries and you can buy them legally in Colorado it's only your health guys and only your life heed my words carefully and seriously because I'm not bullshitting anyone on this I'm trying to help people and that's probably why I'm here God has his little uh, destiny uh, destiny line for me to follow so I enjoy helping people and I enjoy discovering and processing and helping people get rid of the big C and any other type illnesses okay now my videos are demonetized on RSO and I wonder why that is hmm I know why and you guys probably know why as well but it doesn't matter because I'm putting them out free all to the public for you guys to use for you yourself your family your friends your pets yes RSO can be given to dogs and other pets safely mix it in with some food that they like a little catnip or um, uh, whatever treats you give your dogs or animals put a little RSO on there boom they'll be ha happy and uh, healed it is even safe for pets guys yes now this medicine has never hurt anyone never killed anybody in the history of it is of a of its existence because why guys because it's a plant it's a flower okay it's not gonna hurt you it's the equivalent of growing in my opinion it's the equivalent of growing a head of lettuce and eating some lettuce except this stuff is supercharged and healing okay a lot more than lettuce is <laughs> that's for sure now any other questions down in the comments below this video I will respond to you um, I do not sell it I show you in my RSO playlist yet again go to my playlist on my channel subscribe to my channel go to my playlist go to RSO Rick Simpson oil click that I have every single video in there watch them all make notes practice what I preach on there okay and you will be successful all right now um, I think I've covered everything um, the farmer getting back to him he's extremely happy with the results after one his very first try of the medicine 
a micro dose under the tongue before bed. He slept eight hours straight. He's never felt so good in his life. No headache, no pain. And when I talk to him, he's still a little reluctant about taking it continually on a continual basis. Like I said, every night for a week because he's waiting for his modern medical system doctor to get back to him with a MRI scan. That is important. I'm not saying it isn't. But in the meantime, take the freaking stuff, man. It's only your life, right? It's only your life, guys. And what I'm telling you to do will never harm you whatsoever. Guaranteed. If you follow my directions exactly. Okay? So, very happy. The farmer was very skeptical and reluctant in the beginning. And he has pulled a full 360, other than the fact that he's still kind of... He, he took it, it worked, but he's still in denial that, oh, it's going to mess up his medical tests. The MRI was taken before he even tried this stuff. And they're just waiting for a doctor and the results. Um, yeah, that does not compute in my brain because they already have the results. They just hasn't haven't given it to him yet. So what are you waiting for? Stay on the oil. That is the biggest issue I run into people with run in with people um, on this medicine. You have to do exactly what I say. You take it every night for a week minimum okay and then you continue from there I would not like I have there's no point in me lying to anybody there, it's it's useless I'm giving you the straight answers right here right now for anybody who wants them okay and I think it's a beautiful thing I get to help people all over the world if they watch my video because this video could be translated into a million languages and it can help people everywhere. All my play, everything you need to know is in my RSO playlist. You guys should have that bookmarked. I make zero money whatsoever off of that, off of those videos, but it sure helps a ton of people. Okay? Don't panic if you get diagnosed with the big C. And actually, you should be looking at my RSO playlist now to have the materials and the experience and the knowledge of how to make this stuff on your own. Because in if, if and when in the future you do get the big C, you're ready to go and can treat it immediately by yourself. Now, what you can do also is what I've been doing. I've been using it um, um, every other night, microdosing before bed as a preventative for anything that may creep up in the future. So you guys should be on it as a preventative. As a take, think of it as a supplement or a multivitamin that you need to be taking every night an hour before bed. That is extremely important. So any questions, like I said, down below in the comments. If you would like to help me um, and in any way, way you can, I have a PayPal link on my YouTube channel top in the right-hand corner. I have a Patreon page where you can also donate a one-time donation or become a full-fledged Patreon member which gives you access to all my videos here on my channel months before the public on YouTube gets to see them. And then you get credited in my future videos as long as you stay a subscriber on Patreon. And if you can't uh, do anything monetarily, guys, please click the thumbs up button and the notification bell. That way you guys are helping my channel um, passively with likes and upvotes that all helps and sharing my videos as well that all helps as well so um, I'd like to thank everybody out there for listening 
Uh, I know I don't make the best videos in the world. I do not have a production budget to make high-end videos or the time to make high-end videos, but my information is pretty much gold. So use it, practice it, make your own medicine at home, guys. Um, it can be used for all types of things, even skin problems. You can apply it to the skin, bandage it, um, every, every bandage it for uh, three or four days, remove the bandage, add some more, bandage it again three or four more days. That'll treat that situation. Okay, so very good news. The stuff is working. I'm helping other people now. Um, actually, uh, I did give some to one of my Patreon members, uh, Pierre. Um, he can, uh, I'm sure, give you his uh, reaction um, to what it was like for him. From what he told me in, in our little convo about that, we uh, it seemed to help him quite a bit, but he is now out. And he's kind of getting interested in uh, growing and making his own. So I'm all for that because that's the only legal way I can do this. Um, I gave it to him uh, for free, guys. So I hooked him up. I cannot sell this stuff. I cannot just make stuff and give it away for free either because then I will be completely bankrupt. Okay? So just remember that, guys. Um... We have laws to follow, and that's the way it is. There's no getting around it, okay? So don't be stupid. Don't ask me if, uh, you know, oh, can you sell me some? Yeah, I, I've already went over that in this video, guys. That's illegal. It's not happening with me, okay? And the reason I tell you to make your own and grow your own Make your own medicine is because you don't, if you buy from somebody else that you don't know, you don't know what the hell you're getting. You don't get, you don't know what the hell you're getting at all. You don't know if they did the process properly and you're actually going to be harming yourself with what you're ingesting. Okay? So take my video seriously. Watch, rewatch, take notes, whatever you need to do to learn from my videos. And I will be making an updated version um, in the coming month for sure because that's when the harvest season is over or the harvesting season starts and then that's it for the year okay because I'm not I don't I do not grow year-round I only grow during this, this we have four seasons I grow um, spring summer into the fall and that's it so you have to grow enough, or at least grow, um, well, your maximum is four plants per household in Ontario, Canada. Um, but make sure you're doing the max always. And uh, make your medicine, make it proper via my video method on the playlist. Yet again, go watch it. And you will be fine. Now, I would suggest everybody to immediately start researching my, go through my playlist, go through all the videos, figure out your own game plan where you live, start growing, get more experienced at it, and start making your oil. Okay? Now, the other thing, um, when you make your oil, uh, you can freeze it, put it in the fridge, and you can put it away for a rainy day. But I would also suggest taking low doses of it, um, you know, once a week, twice a week, whatever you think you need, uh, an hour before you go to bed, okay? As a preventative, yet again, preventative. So hopefully this video helped everybody out. And I will see you guys on the next one for sure. And we will be having all kinds of more videos coming. I'm going to be doing the, uh, the harvest in about a month. And actually Pierre is willing to come and see me do my magic 
live so maybe I can get a cameraman or I'll just set up the camera and go over everything with him teaching people how to do this magical wondrous miracle plant now I think that's all I can, gotta say for now guys so uh, we'll talk to you later um, peace love and happiness to everybody and uh, stay healthy out there.